So today I've got something real special for you. Today I have Tate Hudson from Yukon Gear and Axle. And Tate, you've been with the company for a while. How many years now? Almost 20 years now, Tim. Almost 20 years. Yeah. So we've got an expert here on all these products and we're gonna give you a quick rundown on the various products that Yukon Gear and Axle makes. So let's start over here on my left and these are the Yukon heavy duty diff covers. Now, of course, one of the reasons why you want a heavy duty diff cover is when you're out wheeling and you center punch that rock or even back up and hit a rock, those thin factory diff covers, well, they tend to crumple. And that's where these heavy duty diff covers come in. The factory thin steel likes to poke holes. The factory aluminum likes to crack in half, break big chunks off. The Yukon hardcore diff covers are a nodular iron. They're very dense, really hard. They're just really engineered to take all of that abuse of off-road usage. They've got a higher capacity for better cooling. They've also got on most of them a higher fill port so that if you've got an extreme angle to your driveway and you can still get the right amount of oil in there. So if you've got a bigger lift, that's gonna tip your pinion up a little bit more, give you more right. of a driveline angle. And we wanna make sure we get that level back up to where it should be. Yep, and they've all got fill and drain plugs as well for easier maintenance. So you don't have to take the whole thing off just to get that oil change done. So as we move to the right just a little bit, we've got the Yukon gear and axle, heavy duty axle shafts. Now the factory axle shafts are gonna be good right up to about a 35. And that's when you start seeing people break things. So that's when we want something a little heavier duty. Yeah, so go ahead right. and tell us, what do we have here? So this is a 4340 chromoly steel. It's a much higher strength steel in general. It's much harder. It's harder to twist, harder to break. We've reinforced the forgings at the ends. Everything is bigger and beefier. It's all case hardened instead of just hardened at the bearing journal. Factory shafts are really just hardened in a couple spots. Most common failures at the ears where the U-joints go, we've reinforced that. Cold rolled splines, another weak point on a factory shaft. It's all been reinforced and much stronger than factory would be. Now, right behind the axle shafts, we have the Yukon drive shafts. And the drive shafts are important, integral part of that drivetrain because that's where we're getting that power from the transfer case down to the axle. So what can you tell me about the Yukon drive shafts? You're very right about power transfer, but also we're talking about angles. When you get bigger tires, bigger lift, your original drive shaft's getting stretched out. It's at a really extreme angle. It's just not designed to handle that. Those factory CV joints wear out really quickly. You've got heavy duty double cartons, bigger U joints, all stronger steel, longer reach. And then we've converted from those traditional CV joints that we were talking about to actual yokes. You've got a through bolt design, much stronger retention on the U joint. It's all high speed balanced and they're good for much bigger lifts and tires. That's just really gonna help prolong the life of everything that you've got going on that you spent all this money on. <laughs> and it's cheaper than replacing those factory CVs. Absolutely. So to our right is the Yukon Gear and Axle Duragrip. Now this is a limited slip. It's a heavy duty replacement limited slip. And it's great for those of you who spend a little time off road and a lot of time on the street. So of course, you know the internals on this thing. What's really cool about this? What's really special about these is all the materials that have been used. A limited slip differential has been around for a really long time. So it's a denser nodular iron case like we were talking about on the differential covers. Chromoly internals, heavy duty composite clutches. Big differences are the, the traction inside of it that it's able to deliver. That's preloaded with 400 pound springs. You've got traction already. You're not waiting for the tires to spin for it to kick in. But for mild off-road and for daily driving, it's really street friendly and user friendly. It just does its job. It does a lot better than those factory limited slips that tend to wear out really easily. So now the next step up on our traction scale is gonna be the Grizzly Locker. Now the Grizzly Locker, this is an automatic locker. Correct. When you apply power, it's gonna lock both sides in. Now you have 100% traction to both tires as long as you are on the power or on the gas. Now, of course, I'm sure there's gonna be some fancy words used to describe this one, including that nodular word you keep using. Actually, this one's a step up from that. So this is fully forged chromoly case and internals. Oh, this is a, a chromoly case. This is a chromoly wow. Yeah, and so this is an automatic locker. And just like you said, a locker is just like what it sounds like. It locks up both of those tires 100% of the time when you're on the gas. It will disengage gauge in a corner you let off the gas it'll turn it'll allow you to move it's gonna bang clunk and ratchet and be really aggressive but that's the best part for being off-road these are really mostly designed for off-road use you can drive them on the street but if you're gonna drive it on the street we have something else for that that's a little bit easier to work with now of course that leads it over to this side which is the zip locker now the Yukon gear and axle zip locker this is perfect for those of you who spend most of the time on the street but then like to do aggressive off-road trails because when you lock this in it is 100% locked. It's just like the automatic locker. If you let off the power, it's not gonna unlock until you turn it off. It's a really nice option for everybody that has 
a really well built off-road rig, but they're driving them back and forth to work. You can turn it off when you're on the street, drives just like it did when you bought it brand new before you lifted it, put the big tires on. And then when you're off-road, you just flip the switch and it's magic, you're going. You have all the traction you want. Tight navigating corners and off-road use, you can turn it off, pull with the front, turn it back on. You just have so many more choices than you do with a limited slip that doesn't give 100% traction or an auto locker that you have no control over. Now, of course, getting our power back, putting that engine back in its proper RPM range, its proper power band, the easiest thing to do is going to be the ring and pinion. And of course, Yukon Gear and Axle has its own line of ring and pinions. It's actually your first product you guys have ever done. Correct, yeah. Why is it so important to get us back to that proper gear ratio. Well, you touched on it earlier with those newer transmissions, you have eight speed and 10 speed transmissions. A lot of drivers will put the bigger tires and lift on and not even feel the difference, but they don't realize their transmission is overcompensating for all that work that it was set up originally for with stock gear and stock tires. When you put bigger tires on, you have to re-gear to get it back into optimum range. The comprehensive gear kit packages that Yukon does, it's got all the bearings, all the seals, everything you need to install it. You're only missing the labor and some oil. So gear sets that are appropriately ratioed for the tire size, the weight of the vehicle, the drag on the vehicle, what kind of use you're gonna be doing. If you're just re-gearing for tire size versus going off-road, you might choose a lower ratio. There's all these options available to you and it's totally comprehensive. Everything you need is there. So there you have a quick overview of the various products from Yukon Gear and Axle. Now we're gonna deep dive into each one of these. So I gotta get you to hang around for a few more minutes. All right, Tim. <laughs> 